On December 6, 2000, there was a blood drive at my office. I was the blood drive coordinator. Um, I worked for the state um, as well. And Eric got permission to come right off the interstate, right up the road to donate blood. So he actually donated blood that morning. Got to see him and told each other we loved each other. And then he went back on the road and I went back to work. And less than an hour later, I got a phone call that, you know, something had happened and that, you know, they needed to come get me. And that's when I found out um, on the way to the hospital, like what had happened, where he had been, you know, shot and killed in the line of duty. He was about protecting and serving and saving lives. And he actually did that, you know, twice that day. The one that drew his blood, you know, I talked to her later and she said it really affected her because he had donated blood and his blood was still on the blood mobile when we all found out that he had passed. And she was one of the last people that saw him alive. Almost immediately after it happened, I realized what a blessing and what a gift it was that he, that he had donated blood. And the Blood Connection reached out to me and wanted to do something for him. So it just became a perfect scenario of a way to honor and remember him each year. Just by being the person that he was, you know, he left a legacy. But I think he, donating blood that day, allowed us to keep his legacy going. He's constantly remembered, you know, not just on December 6th. And seeing that bus is going to help too, because you know, <laughs> all the other 364 days out of the year, other people can remember him too. Just the fact that you come out and donate means a lot because you're saving lives. And I hope everybody remembers that, that, you know, what are you going to be remembered for? You know, one of the last things that you do, you know, what are you going to be remembered for?